Welcome back to Control. Yesterday, we went to the Panopticon, trying to find our brother Dylan, who was in some kind of cell. But when we got there, the cell was broken open, so he left. He's somewhere in the bureau area, but we don't know where, I think. And then I started doing some side missions, and right now we do Langston's Runaways, which is a bunch of claimed altered items that are just in the area and you have to cleanse them of the hiss. We started with the letters. Now we're in this area and I don't know where the, the second and the third letters are. I've been running around here a lot and I, I just can't seem to find this one bloody letter. Oh, there's friends. Where, where are my friends? Boom. Big bada boom. Oh, it's a sniper guy. I think I saw another one. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. I don't know where I'm gonna find those letters. It makes no sense to me. I, I mean, I can't go higher up than this, can I? This is as high as she would go. She's not climbing up here. Maybe if I go like this? Maybe then I can kind of make my way up there? I don't know. Oh, 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 come on, climb it! Oh, that works! Ah, oh, okay. Never mind, I made it. That's no normal piece of paper. Okay, we gotta read the thing. Smoking ban. Dear elected official, thanks to the recent smoking ban in my state, I'm happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in the next election. As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because the smoke is toxic to the aliens that the government sold our planet to in a secret deal. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air would be poisonous to them. If you government traders can't stop people from smoking, then you won't get your millions of dollars from the aliens. I have a website. People know what's going on. <laughs> We're going to keep smoking no matter what. This is a national emergency. Politicians are handing the planet over to alien overlords. We won't let you. We won't resist. I will smoke forever. Signed, a proud smoke of rebel patriot. Okay, cool. Good on you, mate. Rip your lungs. Can I touch you? We're gonna disappear. Okay. Ooh, touch the letter. Should be one more page. Ha ha ha. Got him. Now the question is, where am I gonna find that thing? Oh, oh, dark. Drew, thanks for the reset for twenty months. Welcome back, my chum. We are on a letter hunt. Pinstripe world. I'm a plate suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plate suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plate suit in a pinstripe world. Okay, I'm not gonna read this all the time. I like that one of the sentences is actually redacted. <laughs> Sing it, baby. Sing it. Oh, God, I love that man. I wonder if I could have, you know, oh, no. <laughs> I wonder if I could have taken that down. 
cat clock. My clock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move and I think it's angry but I keep apologizing and it won't stop but I said I'm sorry, 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 but it won't leave me alone and I don't know what I what it wants. I can't, can't keep apologizing for do you see if I now too it told me everyone is here and I need to be careful so they don't see me writing this letter. It wants me to stay with it with my eyes on its eyes and moving very fast but I can't keep going. I worry that they will forget about me so I need so to rid you about this because I can't keep going about the cat will because of its eyes but I reject it. Okay, I think that person was panicking. Better have a cat shaped like a clock. No, like a clock shaped like a cat, but the other way around. Okay, before I touch you, I touch this. Boop. Our whereabouts. Hey, you have questions and the prophets have your answer. If you are truly intrigued, watch this. Watch the time. We've lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days, this is why the petition is a sundial and also simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing while I'm here, if you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun and moon are composed of plasma, simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you, I, and humanity reside. Cheers. Hi guys and welcome everybody. Okay, let's touch the final letter. We need to know where it's gonna end up. Boop. Nice, we got the final letter. Cool. <gasps> she said the thing, chat. She said, done and done. Who are you? Serana? Vivid dreams. To the esteemed members of the American Psychiatric Council, I'm writing you to inquire about the significance of dreams in re relation to one's mental health. I'm aware that there are many books purporting, purporting to contain the true meanings of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not usually done, but if you would greatly appreciate your... I, I can't read, sorry. But if I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. I think I can't read this because this is very weirdly written, but if I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition, what? Also, why is condition in big letters? T, C, true condition? Hmm. Ever since I was young, I have had intensely vivid dreams. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these feel markedly different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small, empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake in its center. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. Oh, A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Because of this recent incident, I have decided to seek help. The doctor says I'm physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Yours sincerely, Richard Boker. Utterly dark. There was a lake at its center in an empty town. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. Excuse me, Ellen Wake much? Moving letters. Black rock paneling suppresses the item's effect. A stack of four envelopes, each containing a single page of paper. All four letters are illegible due to extreme water damage. The envelopes, curiously, do not show any sign of such damage and are covered in messages of love. Love you, love you, love you, x, x, x. Um, the items are able to move short distances at a pace of less than <laughs> and always in a <laughs> direction. This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts, a fact previously believed to be an impossibility by <laughs> a proposal to take the items outside the oldest house and follow their movement to its final destination is under consideration with the budget committee. Background items was found in the dead letter archives where the herd, the herd act archivist? Head archivist? Heard? Head? I don't know. Found it attempting to escape a filing cabinet. She reports having no record of the items in her archive of letters. Uh, good night, Eshgoth. Sleep well. <laughs> exactly. 
Hello. Oh. Nice, we did it. Okay, so that means we have just one of these items left. Cleanse and contain the hand chair. I don't know what a hand chair is, actually. I have no clue. I've never heard of such a thing. Oh. Nice. Okay, wait, where's where's this medical wing? Fast travel. Alrighty. I think I've seen it somewhere. Research, containment, medical wing. Okay. I don't know if logistics is the best place to go. Maybe it is. I mean, <clears throat> the alternative would be Panopticon entrance. And then we go back through this uh, long hallway there on this height, maybe. But maybe logistics is it. Maybe that's better. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll find a way. This is so redacted. <laughs> the map in this game, I know I know exactly what you mean, yeah. Okie dokie. Um this way. Run woman. Panopticon Medical Wing. Ah, this is the place with the weird people, isn't it? <coughs> oh god, I hate this. <laughs> I always hate when I cannot go into places. Shelter, have I opened you? I probably have. A handshare is a redacted. <laughs> You're all trolling me. <laughs> a handchair. I know of chairs and I know of hands, but what is a handchair? Is that a chair for your hand? I think I found it though. Oh yeah. Wait, there's a... There's a cluster somewhere. Oh, what's going on? I don't know what's going on here. What is this? You freak me out, don't do that. It's it's sucking in my my health stuff. Stop that. A hand chair. It's a hand. Oh, I think it's a chair in, in shape of a hand. It's quite literal. It's it's a it's a chair. In shape of a hand. What's up with you? Okay, this terrifies me. I don't know what I gotta do about this. <laughs> Maybe this opens if I find all these cube thingies. We have to run around and shoot more of them. Huh. Hello. Maybe there's more. Sounds like it. I hear stuff. Oh, 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 oh! Maybe it's timed. Maybe I'm too slow. Bloody hell. Ah, there's one in here. Okay. Hang on. Maybe now I got it? Ah, I was locked in here, eh? Can I open this now?
Ooh, is this new? Probably not. <laughs> Okay. Uh, return to Langston, and Langston is in the Panopticon area. I, th I think. Oh, oh, oh. I think if I go through here, how's the burger? The burger was really good, as always. Yeah, I think through here. Waste of energy. <laughs> But why not? Cell breaches. There you are. I guess life's a bre I found all those missing altered items. All of them. All of them. Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. <laughs> but those weren't all of the altered items missing from the Panopticon. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. How many of these things did he lose? How many? Just a couple. Should be no problem. Numbers. I really appreciate your help. Really. Just. Super. Cleanse and contain the flamingo. Cleanse and contain the man mannequin. Cleanse and contain the rubber duck. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Like always. Like always. Um, but... Seal Threshold Corridor, Prime Candidate Program, Protective Studies. Oh man, this is my Laka. Oh, I have abilities, sweet. But can I get anything with my two ability points? Probably not. This one, Shield. More Levitation Duration or Seize Duration. Oh, this ground slam, right? I really, I really want that ground slam. <laughs> so now, next one we can this, can get this one. Bam! That that ought to be nice. Okay, fast travel containment. There's something in the center here, and we gotta go here. Seal threshold corridor is where we gotta go. Cleanse and contain the flamingo. Oh boy. Okay, guys. The flamingo. Now, where am I gonna find that flamingo? I remember Liz saying she finds mannequins creepy. They are creepy. Don't you think they're creepy in a way? Okay, flamingo, where you wet? That's a dead end. Is this the same area or new? I've already watched this. I was here with this, uh. Oh! Hide people, I'm here to shoot you. Hi. Oh. I'm <laughs> just eating corpses at others. Nice. Okay. Anybody seen a flamingo? Nope. Oh god, imagine it's somewhere in the clock. Oh. <laughs> somewhere hidden in the clocks. I hate the clocks. Screw those clocks. Do you think it's it's an altered item? It's behaving strangely. Mm. 
Come on, give me give me a flamingo. Oh, I see red. I see red, red, I see red. Now how do I get there? <laughs> Bloody hell. I guess this room is just in general very red. Judging by the map now, behind you on the right, on the right, behind me on the right. So this is not it. Th this is the only right I can do right now. And here's nothing. Bonk, massive wall. This is left now, but I'm gonna take my chances with it. Is this the one? This is more pink than red. More purple, purple light. So with right you meant left, right? <laughs> when you said go go right behind there you meant left, yeah. That's got to be an altered item. Yep. Dear, are we fighting the the guy again? The the one-eyed monster? Yep, we are. did like flamingos <laughs> too pink pink <laughs> yeah <laughs> too pink naturally they're not even pink it's just because of all the the crabs they're eating with the very red pigment in their shell or shrimps or what they are all right thank you guys oh enemies enemies are angry okay where's the cluster there gotta be a cluster everybody has a plus on their name So the next one, uh, containment. Now, is this the way I gotta go? Prime candidate program. Not the medical wing, I don't think so. But there's no other way, okay. I don't think it's the medical wing, and I can't go through these bars there. I don't have a level 6 clearance, so maybe I can't do this right now? Maybe I should come back later when I have level 6 clearance? And can actually open some doors here in this area? Maybe we go protective studies. I don't think I've ever seen that on a map. Protective studies. Research? Oh man. <laughs> the bloody cluster come from now sorry oh. 
Buster, where you at? How many are there? Okay. Okay, apparently it's this way. Oh yeah, this creepy hallway, I remember that. This way. Protective studies. Does there does it have a sign somewhere to like guide you a bit? No. But I do see the rubber ducky, or at least one of them. Either one? I've already listened to this one, so I'm not gonna click that again. I cannot open you. Hmm. Maybe they have multiple rubber duckies, who knows? Hmm. <gasps> Wait a minute, I remember this place. And I couldn't go through here because I couldn't fly. Out of my way. And now I can go. Ha ha. <laughs> oh man, I think it was yesterday or the day before where I couldn't go up here. And I really tried. I really tried to jump up all the way and climb and do the parkour. But now I can. I don't want to touch the stuff here. Ugh. Oh, rubber ducky, you here? <gasps> I got you. Hang on, let me open the door first if I can. Okay. So I have an escape way. Disappearing ducks. Great. Great. <laughs> Jesse, stop saying the things that I'm thinking. Stop it. Wait, does it, did it go this way? I hear the quack quack. I hear the quack quack. <gasps> it was here. It was poof. <gasps> oh, that's kind of cute. Quack quack. Now, do I follow you indefinitely or how do we do this? Do I have to shoot you? Oh, I think it doesn't want to play anymore. I hear you. Where did you go? Okay, I thought maybe if I fly at it, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it just hears my footsteps. Oh, I lost the quack. Now I hear it again. Was it just getting tired now? <sighs> Finally. Haha. <laughs> quacking. No, no qu but the quacking is cute. Come on. All right, guys. I really don't know about the mannequin. Containment prime candidate program. I don't know where I gotta go for that. Uh, where was the fast travel point? Maybe if I try from here? From Panopticon? Maybe I'm on a proper level then? I, th I honestly think if I want to go to the containment area here where the yellow point is that I need level 6 clearance and I think I might have to continue. Maybe we just continue with main story for now. Hand chair. 
Item must be kept in isolation, removed from other unsecured objects. Under no circumstances is the item to be set in. <laughs> a plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms a seat with the fingers acting as the chair's back. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of... <laughs> its fingers have also been observed to change position, though too quickly to be witnessed or filmed. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. Sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic material. Background. Found in a warehouse at <laughs> Albany, a team of ranger trainees, accompanied by an experienced field agent, were dispatched to investigate local rumors when they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved the item. Well, obviously it's here. Fl Pink Flamingo. No unique procedure required. Altered status is suspected but unverified. Description. A plastic pink, fl pink flamingo lawn ornament. Two steel prongs extend from its underside. The item is suspected to influence atmospheric physics, altering meteorological phenomena in the area. This effect is currently unconfirmed. Appendix. New altered effect has been s observed. Oh, apparently we missed one. Threshold kids, we've seen that one. Rubber duck. <laughs> Direct contact with the item is not permitted. Safely glo safety gloves are required when handling. Item is a yellow rubber duck bath toy from the 1950s. A single hole at the bottom allows air and water to flow in and out. The item makes a sound uh, analogous? Analogous? to quacking. The item travels considerable distances with surprising speed. How it achieves this motion is unknown. The item forms a <laughs> of unknown purpose with anyone who makes direct physical contact with it and begins to follow them, quacking often. <laughs> this has led to researcher named <laughs> entering cardiac arrest. <laughs> Although due to the individual's health issues, the matter may not be connected to the item's effect. Item on loan to research sector. Oh no, a poor guy who just like had a heart attack. <laughs> Because he was so annoyed. <gasps> okay. Um, we got a few more things, apparently. But most of them are level 2, so we don't even have to bother. Plus 30% health. Ooh. Energy recovery. Hang on. Energy recovery speed. Seize accelerator. And energy boost. <sighs> more energy. I think this is fine. Yeah, I know I can filter for unread stuff. I know, I technically know. <laughs> okay, where is my... Missions. So, we've done this. I will probably continue with this once I have the level 6 clearance because it's frustrating to look around and then not be able to go anywhere because all the doors are closed. Put a record on. Use the token in the jukebox. I have a few tokens, I think, at this point. Or at least one. Phase of the enemy. That is my main objective. Okay. Jessie finds a strange jukebox token. She speaks to Arish to find out more about it. Uh, do we have a fast travel point here? Somewhere? Ah, here. Fast travel. Ah, here. Central executive. Did I not know to talk to Arish about this? I think it's past the security check, but I can't go through the security check, I think. Unless maybe now I can, but anyways, it's it's probably still there in a bit. Here. We go around that way. Now. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. Oh. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay hiss. Okay, this, so this, this was just an, another side quest. Busy, you know. All right, back to work. But put a record on. 
Use the token in the jukebox. Put the lime in the coconut. Television proposal. Ooh. Based on the success of America Overnight, we would like to propose the creation of a television series that presents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment in order to popularize these concepts among the civilian population and create less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranatural, paranatural events. We can also use a solid media outlet to test paranatural concepts on civilian audiences, seeing how they react to certain facts presented as fiction. In the event that the Bureau ever decides to make certain rea realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seems promising, especially considering its content and tone are precisely what we're looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. <gasps> Oh dear. Okay, but where's the bloody jukebox? Is it in here somewhere in this area? This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. Oh. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. Snoo snoo. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. Ew. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. Mm. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. Have they been listening to... <laughs> America Overnight Results the America Overnight program has operated successfully for over <laughs> years. Originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptical population of America, it has additionally led to the recovery of numerous AWEs and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experiences with the paranatural. In fact, America Overnight alerted the Bureau of <laughs> and <laughs> in this first year of operation alone. In this report, the investigation sector have catalogued and categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful bureau investigation in order to help AWE occurrences analysis. The more <laughs> results of Night Springs have also been catalogued in separate report. Refer to file blah 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 for a full report. <laughs> Boom! Okay, it's copyright music again. Gotcha. Your <laughs> makes me smile. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, I I don't want to say redacted all the time. Oh, <gasps> I found it! Wah wah wee wah. Okay, I'm gonna put a token in. What? Undertake expeditions in quarry site beta to earn unique mods. Completing each of the four objectives will dismantle the formation to reveal the rewards waiting inside. Challenge expedition that grants rare rewards. Player energy recovery minus 50. Mm. Energy recovery time minus 50? Begin expedition? Time missions? Ugh, I hate time missions. It's worth doing one of these, I think. Okay, we try. But when I hear timed, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh, bright. Investigate and clear. Oh my god, I have 25 minutes? Okay. Clear. Found the island sites. Oh dear.
So, and with cleanse, they mean uh, go there and uh, kill the people? Yo, son of a gun. Root. Oh, the music is a, is a banger, though. Not the floaty chair people. Hate those. that I wanted to <laughs> investigate and clear the four island sites. I don't know what's going on. Can you help me? Thanks. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, I'm stuck. Ooh. the three broadcast plates oh is this a broadcast place okay now i gotta find another one i hate time stuff mate <laughs> i'm just look this is adding to my stress level i don't need that <laughs> no oh god how will i do this Oh, you just stand on it. Oh, I understand. Okay. Cleanse, 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 cleanse. I know there's a cluster somewhere. I just want to cleanse it. I understand now. Just by standing on it, you cleanse it. Interesting. Okay, that means I have to go back to the other one. I don't know what that shit is, but I'm out of here. Bye. Standing still right now is not a, such a good idea. Low up already! There, thank you. Oh, it's one of the big boys. Yo! Oh, dear god. Come on, girl. Climb up, climb up, climb up, climb up, climb up, climb up. I don't know where this bloody cluster is. There. Hi. You're a bit too close for my comfort here. You know that my orientation in this game in general is just sucks monkey ass. It's like absolutely not helpful.
cleanse the broadcast plate. This was the last one then. Oh dear, oh dear. Do you? Okay, you gotta help me. Return to the formation. Oh god. This was taking way too long. Okay, that was the first one. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> we can do this. Oh god, but I was I will this will not go well, I can tell you. Sorry. So I have to do multiple of these in the time? Oh, this is gonna be bad, guys. What now? Investigate and clear the four sites. Retrieve the lost specimen data. I have to look for data as well. Oh shh, Max. Uh. Eliminate the waves of his. better if I kill him I think <laughs> I wanted to have him work for me but he was a bit oh my god it was a bit too sturdy For me? Okay, cool. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Honk. Oh, not the screechy things. No! Oh god, I hate those. Boom! Bam. So Am I supposed to aim for your head or for your belly? Hmm. Good question, eh? What are you? Squad Captain oh, God. reporting on expedition 17B. At the formation now. Visually no distinction. I don't know if I have time for that. I don't think I have. I have I'm halfway through already with with the time. This is not going well. Are you blowing yourself up with this? of his that's cool and all but oh god not one of the 
the chunky guys. Yeah, this is gonna go really bad right now. Can't dodge anymore, I don't have any power left. Why can I not... Uh, not this one! <laughs> okay, take this one then. This is fine. I don't think those challenges are for me. <laughs> I don't I don't do well under time pressure. <laughs> Can I just leave this? Options. This one? If it would just be the trial itself, I, I wouldn't mind, but timed? No, no thanks. I thought this is something else. But it's okay. This one I think I can't do right now, but we can just try it later again. Um, maybe this one now? Or maybe we just continue with the main story, speak with Emily, and then hopefully get level 6 clearance so I can do some other stuff. Uh, is she... this way, yeah. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely anti- Oh, sorry. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. <sighs> but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, mm -hmm. more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. I try. Speak with Dylan on the upper level. Oh, is that the upper level just going up? Executive affairs? Still into it? Do you hate it now? <laughs> no, I don't hate it. I still like the game. It's just this part of the game I'm not a fan of. I can still love the game and just not play the t the, the parts that I don't like, you know? Did you hear that the hiss everything that is, that is timed in general, it's not control specific, everything that is timed with a counter, countdown, you know? I'm not a massive fan of. You are a worm through time. The thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made right. Leave your hands by the black door. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been a new youth. Why this is betrayal? We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. You are a worm through time. The thunder's home distorts you. Okay. Comes, you okay, pearls, Dylan? Yellow and red in the eye. You are a worm through time. Shit. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Oh, great. Always a good sign. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. 
six. Okay. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Please to stop be true. That. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. No. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only truth. A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Stop it! Orangeville. Shit! Shit! What I the... can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. Oh, God. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. He's creepy. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. Pioneer worms a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide projector, warm. maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. You do? Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. I will help. You are a worm through time. You are a worm through time. The thunder's hole distorts you. <sighs> I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Can I ask him questions Dylan. now? Will I get strange answers? Probably not. <laughs> I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Okay. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in Ordinary, before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. Okay. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. 
Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. <laughs> what the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? Maybe my memories are wrong. Maybe I never really had a brother. Maybe I just had like a split personality inside me and the events back in Ordinary split those personalities and one of them went into this body and she just remembers wrong? Or like she was completely out of it and she was, she, I don't know. But I was, I was, hmm. Okay, she, he has more to say, so I'm gonna talk to him again. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. Just now? Okay. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. Okay. And it stayed that way. Forever and ever. It was nice. <laughs> nice. Really nice. Okay. That's debatable. <laughs> but here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. <laughs> or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office in something, 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 something. Ordinary. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. <laughs> There's more? How much, how much can I talk to him here? I don't know how many conversations I can have with him here, but I want to... Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting dream. Again. Surprise. <laughs> oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Uh, oh, God. That's what I'm gonna get. <laughs> In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. That he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. Maybe his for the dreams. Record, that will never happen. Maybe his dreams not are as not. As long as I'm alive. Sorry. Maybe his dreams are not dreams, but alternate realities that he can glimpse into. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. <laughs> Sorry, Jesse. <laughs> Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream 
like all dreams now, felt very real, like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. I was in a dark place. And there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door. And he told me that there are many worlds side by side on top of each other, some inside of others. In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. Alex Casey, Ellen Wake. In another Wake. world, the cop was real. Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. Through time. That is, did they just tease back then, did they just tease Ellen Wake 2 with that? With Mr. Door and Ryder and that in one world, the character, the, the, the cop that he was writing was real? Here we go again. Once more with feeling. I don't know how many of these are there. We'll see. Let me guess. You had a dream. You tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. That's new. That is very new, yes. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. This very dream! He said just now! And repeated it again now! I'm standing there and watching and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, villain. That's good. Was it a reference to Forrest Gump? That's all I have to say about that. Is he still in there? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? I don't know. I don't know either, mate. Oh, I think we got it. So yeah, I, I think... I think I might be on the right track there with this that he uh, has the ability to be in multiple dimensions and witness alternative routes for a story. So in one scenario, it's like this. In one scenario, Jesse is just an assistant and he's the director. In one scenario, this happens. In another scenario, this happens. You know? Find the prime candidate program. Okay, where do we gotta go for this? Here? But didn't he say that he has the card for me so I can go there? Ugh, I don't know. I love Forrest Gum and that's all I have to say about that. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> Life is like a box of chocolates. You'll never know what you're gonna get. And that's all I have to say about that. Prime candidate program. No clue where that is. In memory of the heroic agents who gave their lives to forces known and unknown for the protection and greater knowledge of all humankind, we honor their sacrifice. Um, the thing is, I don't think I can go through here. Would you open the door for me? I would really love to fight you on the other side, but I can't go through. I don't know how to get there, guys. Wait, there's something there? How do I get there now? Is there a way to go higher up? 
fucking hell. <laughs> Guys, I don't know where to go. Oh my god. How can you go through? Show me the way. Oh, what? Oh, there. Are you kidding me? Okay, mate. Guys, I have no life. Leave me alone. <laughs> I was getting a life. I have a few life now. 69% life. Now I just gotta find the way to the place where I gotta go. Which, in all honesty, I have no clue. Technically, I gotta go this way, but there's a massive brick concrete wall, so... That's not gonna be it. Oh my god, there's way too many if we fall up, fellas. You know, I'm trying <laughs> to make progress here and find my way. And you turn me around all the time. Oh. Back off. <laughs> nice. Double kill. Concrete is just an illusion. So, yeah. You tend to rush dangerous enemies and fight at close range. I, I don't, I try to dodge them, <laughs> but I have to go towards them when, I low, when I'm low on health because they drop the health. You have to fight your enemies and then you get the, the life back, so. What am I supposed to do? Oh yeah, this is the area where I can't progress anymore because I don't have level 6 clearance. And now I'm in the completely wrong area. Too many of you fellas. Thought maybe if I get turned around here somewhere, I could go where I need to go. But I don't think this is right. <laughs> This is a 
that end, I think. I think I did it. How, how? How? How did I do that? I could never... Okay. Hi. How did I get the card? When did I get the card? Dylan gave you a key. I tried earlier to open a, a level 6 thing and it, it wouldn't let me. I, I never saw him giving me a card. Was this just like magic? It's in the inventory now? To find new prime candidates. The Bureau needs a director. Our future. P6 and P7. Okay. But sorry I wasn't done here. Hang on. Where was I? Aha, there. Self-reflection. Oh, that's a new mission, never mind. I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to see the file that I picked up. Collectibles case files? Did I not just pick up something? It was poorly timed, sadly. Okay, I picked up something. I don't know where it went. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I thought it would be a case file and I wanted to open it and I clicked this button to like open the thing that you picked up last, but at the same time, the pop-up for the next mission came. So I don't know what I just picked up. Uh, missions. The face of the enemy. Find the prime candidate program. That the one? Containment prime candidate program. Is that the right area? Transit corridor. Eh. <laughs> I got turned around now. <laughs> I think it's this way. Yeah, this way. There's no way for me to go through here. I guess this is the way that I'm gonna get out of here again. Through that door. Oh, hi. Hello. Okay, we have an, a cluster. Somewhere. Right. Twisted bastard. Nice bonk. Okay, I saw some fellas down here. Oh boy. No, 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 I don't want to do this. I don't want to play with you. Your game suck. No. I always get hurt. <laughs> creepy noises be creepy. Woo.
Okay. Okay. Oh man, I would really like a flashlight now. This is so dark and twisted. Find the prime candidate program. Oh lord. Am I gonna slide over there now? It's so steep. Oh god. creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. Oh, is that the mannequin quest? I was wondering, like, I, was, I saw the mannequin, I was like, okay... I think I found the, the, the mysterious mannequin. Now what do I gotta do with those? Oh! Oh, come on, go, go up, love. Go up. Go up. Now you can let go. That is a lot of mannequins. Okay, and you cannot push them over. <laughs> Good. And you cannot even hurt them. Okay. New hero policy. No more mannequins. No more mannequins. Amen to that. Okay, we've done the mannequin. Find the prime candidate stuff. P6. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector Psh, will. So much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power. Something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's... That's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six. And the sister as well, I mean, once we catch up with her. But the, the boy, that's so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. There was an incident. Yes. Oh. What? We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Did Dylan kill somebody? Yeah. This is force. Dylan has so much. But he's, he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Robert's got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. Oh. We'll make this work. Oh, darling. Okay, we do have a few pages here to read. Agent killed during <laughs> involving <laughs> code name P6. Dylan Faden. One, blunt force injuries on the head and neck. Extensive trauma of the abdominal region. Lacerations and contu contusions? of the upper and lower torso, fracture of the spinal cord between L1 and L2 vertebrae, avulsion fracture of the third through 10th ribs left and right, blunt force injuries of the extremities, abrasions, lacerations, and contusions of the extremities, dislocation of left and right elbow. Oh God, what the fuck did he do to them? Dislocation of left eye elbow, dislocation of left and right knee. He was just like bending him in all the wrong directions. After examination, it was determined that the cause of the death was internal bleeding that occurred when the <laughs> was contorted through his. <laughs> oh shit, Dylan. What the fuck? Dylan Faden transcript. 
Transcript of conversation. Subject Dylan Faden for review by Dr. Darling. Note. Subject was alone during the outburst. Dylan Faden. You again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore. And I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Fuck off, you bitch. I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. Subject repeated the phrase fuck off numerous times before being sedated. Oh my. Now we probably have a note about the mannequin as well, mannequin procedures. No known procedures for preventing the item's effect. Update. Lining the item's cell with the newly discovered black rock has yielded positive results. Test with other altered items. Uh, a wire and fabric waste mannequin. The base and head are made of stained wood. The item duplicates. The trigger of this behavior is unknown. No correlation can be found in either the number of duplications that manifest during the episode or the duration of which they last before disappearing. Okay. Jesus. Do you think we can go into the other rooms as well? Like closed cases. Ooh. Oh god, there's one of the threshold kids again. Right fault summary. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake, Washington, resulted in a fictional story written by the author Alan Way, creating an AWE in which reality was altered to match that of the story, though only locally and for a limited time. Mr. Kirkland, head of investigations, was alerted on September 13th, 2010 by ex-Bureau agent Frank Breaker. See, <laughs> that an AWE event was taking place in Bright Falls, Washington, referred to events investigated in 1970, 1976, and 1978. Breaker had received a call from Barry Wheeler, Alan Wake's literary agent, on behalf of Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who is the current sheriff of Bright Falls. A Bureau field team arrived at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted. Refer to 1970 Thomas Zane, 1976, and Odin Anderson and Tor Anderson, 1978. Ellen Wake was believed to <laughs> instigator. Eyewitnesses report highlight an old light switch, impossible object of power, possible, sorry, possible object of power that <laughs> missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claim he dived into the lake, but not nobody was recovered in the search. Oh dear, it's Ellen! I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? Uncle Mr. Bones. <laughs> I did bad on my clairvoyance test. Oh, no. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Brains. <gasps> Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> <laughs> So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. No. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> What if 
I don't want the big chair. What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, I'm hurt! That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. I'm wondering if those two threshold kids are supposed to be Dylan and, and Jesse. Meg has red hair and we'll see what your brains can do and then you get the big chair. Director. I don't know. I'm just sp spitballing. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm wrong. So I opened this now, right? Was this the door that I couldn't go through first? Yes. Okay. So we were we've been in P6. Maybe there's a P7 as well? Here. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. That's me! I'm looking good. <laughs> Classified. That's her. Coffee soap. What is coffee soap? I'm like I like books and I like sleeping on the park benches. <laughs> Last scene there. Okay. Outfits? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that's my first outfit, guys! I got an outfit! That was the first time that I've ever got an outfit! Jesse fade in movement. Calls for concern, departs. Cheyenne arrives in Sydney. Sydney, day one. Chicago, South Bend, Cleveland, Bloomsburg, New York City. Okay. Join the threshold, kids! We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids. That's as me! Well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. The dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? Mm. No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No, that's just stupid. Come on, that has nothing to do with this, nothing. This light projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting? into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. This... Psychiatrist... Psychiatrist? Psychiatrist? Really sucks. They totally did not know how to ask questions, probably. There was like seven questions in a row, and she had no time to answer them. <laughs> All of the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Creepy. Very creepy. Oh. Schmutz! OK. 
Okay. Wheel, 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 wheel. wheel. Turn table. No. I guess I gotta study go what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. Enemy spotted. Where do you think you're going, eh? Find the ordinary AWE area. Okay, that's just a monitor. I see a lot of red here, so I, I don't know. Willow AWE shipping manifest. A hollow sphere, stone-like material. Vitrified soil. <laughs> Pieces of various size and colors. Animal carcass, possibly cannon. Canine? Rusted metal bucket, leather wallet, H shotgun cartridge. All materials to go for the investigation sector to further analysis. Jesse therapy, slide projector, interviews. Hmm. So you're allowed to make frenzies out of enemies? Yep. <laughs> That's a, that's a good ability, I think. Stretch. Okay. Okay. Oh man, I don't know which way I should go first. That is just an, an elevator, right? Oh lord in heaven! Oh gosh dang it! The fuck? Great. Uh, is there health? <laughs> Malaka. So, the place where I need to go is this way, so I think. Man, this map. Maybe I have to take the elevator down. I, I don't know. What's this? Oh, I missed a page here. Work chat, dead dog. I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, I like a straight up deceased dog. Had a collar on it and everything. It had been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. Okay. Okay. Please be good. Please, please be a nice elevator. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Okay. Yeah, I think it brought me down. It says turntable this way. So yeah, maybe I'm on the right floor now. This place is very red. That's not normal red, that's a new level of red. The reddest red I've ever seen. So red. Uh, um, level six. All right, I guess I have to do the thing here to change this environment. Cleanse control point. I like how these places change. That's so cool. It really is quite red, isn't it? <laughs> right? <laughs> Noise. We're going back home. 
we're saving. Of course we are. It started there, and it's... never gone away. Um, is that normal? Uh, did I break the game? <laughs> um, maybe I can fast travel to some location where I am. Transit corridor, right? Let's just go f to logistics and then travel back. <laughs> Artie, turn on the lights! Okay, I have a feeling, guys, that I have to, um, you know, restart the game. I'm gonna close the game and then launch it again. So remember Transit Corridor. I'm gonna take a break now, get myself a coffee, and then I will launch the game again, and hopefully then it will be alright again. I see you after the break, guys. Have fun.